Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to add the search bar to your Squarespace website in 2023. Of course, adding a search bar can greatly enhance user experience and make it easier to visitors to find the content they're looking for. So make sure to stick by and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you possibly have. Once you open that browser, go to the URL section, type squarespace.com and hit the enter button. Once you do so, this will take you right away to the home screen. So if you have an account, make sure to go and log into it. But if you don't have an account, click on get started. Follow the prompts to create your account and you will normally be good to, good to start. Now, go and access your dashboard. Go to the websites that you would like to add the search bar into it and make sure to go and access the Squarespace editor. So the first step is to go to your Squarespace editor and from your website dashboard, click on edit site or website editor to enter the editing interface. And of course, uh, Squarespace offers different methods to integrate a search bar into your website. Depending on your Squarespace version templates, uh, you may have different options. So let's explore like two common methods. For example, there's uh, some Squarespace templates uh, come with a built search and bar feature. So check out your templates if it have it. As an example, you can go and check it here through all your website. You can even go to the page the editor and look for pre-designed search uh, bar, uh, block, or elements available simply and add it to the desired location on your web, which web, uh, web page on your web page and proceed in, uh, to customize its appearance. So if your template doesn't have a built-in search bar, you can use the code injection feature to manually add the search bar and the Squarespace editor. You can navigate to the settings menu and select advanced, then select on the code injection in the appropriate section, paste the custom code for the search bar. Of course, if you don't know how to make a code for a search bar, you can simply go and use like chat GPT as an example, click on, or open a new tab, click on chats.openai.com. And of course, log into your account. If you have an account, if you have an account, just go, uh, if you don't have an account, go and create one. If you have an account, just log into it, then ask him to create or uh, to type or to create a code for you for a search bar. So uh, like create a code uh, for a search bar in square space website. So as, so as an example, so as you can see, he will create the code for you. Simply, you will have to go and copy it and paste it on the injection code option and you will be good to go. Once you're done, of course, you can preview it and check if everything is working well and you will normally be fine. So other than that, as an example, you'll be able to do a lot of other stuff as an example. So if you click here in commerce as an example, you'll be able to do some stuff. So as an example, if you're even like a plan is expired or subscription expired, you can simply click on here, see plans, and you'll be able to see all the plans, personal, business, commerce, uh, basic and commerce advanced. And of course, if you scroll down here, you'll be able to compare of all of them. And of course, you'll be able to pay annually or monthly. If you pay annually, you will save, as you can see here, 30%. So it's better to pay manually. And of course, as you can see here, you can scroll and see uh, the difference about them and of course you can cut compare uh, between all of them so once you get your plan it's going to be better so you can use the squarespace uh, directly and good without any problem so of course here you'll be able to go and see the orders on your uh, websites if you have a store as you can see you'll be able here to see the customers if you click on it you'll be able to export or import some customers if you don't have any and the emails or some customers that you will sign the emails to if you want to and a lot of other stuff of course as you can see uh, there's even this membership option that you can add to some people on your uh, squarespace website and you can even go and add this custom merch as an example so you can even uh, design and sell like as custom products you can even go and uh, connect with uh, these options as you can see so at the moment, there is no website attached to this account, but it's not going to be a, pro a problem. So, of course, you can even go and click on this customer notification. So, there is the this option. So, let's click on next, next, and use the editor, of course, to custom whatever notification that we want. As you can see here, we have a lot of options. So, global email, uh, styles, business uh, uh, settings, as you can see, and a lot of other stuff that we can change on whatever we want. 
of course you can see there's here general orders and of course a lot of other stuff as we said so point on sale uh, the customer engagement the customer account a gift card of course you can edit any of those as an example by clicking on this edit email so uh, subscription orders and even members area so you can edit whatever you want as an example here if you want to to uh, get this customer notification depending on their on their case or condition and of course you can even go here and go as you can see client to client management which is just a new feature and of course you can add ways for clients to pay you directly through website so if you click on is uh, set up some payments as you can see the payment name you can put it here and of course you can even go and add the image to it so i'm just going to put success here and there, you can add an image as an example i'm just going to add a random image as an example here uh, as an example this one and you can even add the amount do as an example i'm just going to put a ten dollars here and I click on save so they are creating the payment option as you can see so we'll have to go and wait a bit it should not take a lot of time so once it's created you'll find it there and of course here you can go and even instead of this commerce there is the marketing and you can even add some scheduling if you want so of course if you if you click on marketing we will be able to do some email campaigns or profiles you can give your size visitors a way to subscribe import existing email subscribers as you can see or even add a professional uh, promotional uh, pop-out to your site and or even you'll be able to import existing email subscribers or hire a marketing expert if you want to and of course as we said before you'll be able to add this scheduling so this scheduling will help you uh, like uh, give some appointment to some people uh, so simply you'll have to go and give it a name as an example and click on next and of course here the name of the service as an example so maybe consultation whatever suits you for me i'm just going to put random things duration i'm just going to put here like 15 appointment the price maybe five dollars and click on next and as you can see here you'll have to uh, check the days that you are free on and make sure to enter the time that you are free on you can even add multiple times example and you can even go and add how uh, or how much days did you want click on next and as you can see you'll have to go and connect one of the payments providers so people can pay you and use your service so if you click on connect as you can see here you'll find the stripe square and paypal click and connect and you'll be prompt to uh, connect your account so people will be able to connect uh, so you'll have to log into your account and people will be able to pay you from there for your service of course there's even like this uh, profiles option and this will show you here the number of subscribers lead customers first time uh, customers repeat customers e even donors and even all the visitors of your website you will find them here of course if you click on this three dots you'll be able to add some subscribers exports all profiles or even manage text so if you click as example on the settings you'll be able to uh, go and change the domain the google workspace you'll be able to uh, change permissions imports or exports con contents you'll be able to get this developer tool there's the store payments and the billing on your account so if you reach the sponsor of this video congratulations you've successfully learned how to add search bar on your squarespace website in 2023 of course you can provide a seamless search experience for your website visitors if you do this. And of course, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one. So good luck with adding your search bar to your Squarespace website and we'll see you in the next video.